setting the ambiance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the astronaut training facility. What you're seeing is one of the largest classrooms in use for scientists, astronauts, and engineers. In addition to the activities you see here, they're working behind the scenes to keep the space program current and moving forward. They're planning and developing new hardware along with training procedures, which will then be used by astronauts in the various international space station mock-ups you see down below. Among these include living quarters, laboratory modules, storage modules, the solar array joint, and an airlock that will allow our astronauts to enter and exit for spacewalks. The International Space Station is a partnership of 15 nations from different international space agencies. These include the United States of NASA, Russia's Roscosmos, the European Space Agency, Japan's JAXA, and Canada's TSM. These nations both provide and operate the elements of the ISS. To the back and left, you'll see a large black area known as the PAM-F, or Precision Air Bearing Floor. One part of our astronauts' work includes moving large objects in space. This can be easily done since there is no friction to push against, yet this also makes their job a bit more tricky since there isn't any friction to make the large objects stop. This system allows our astronauts to work in a two-dimensional frictionless environment as they would in space and easily move large objects weighing up to 10 tons. If you look in front of the Zarya module, you will see a green spacecraft. It kind of looks like two eggs on top of each other. This is the Russian Soyuz capsule. With the space shuttle retired, it is currently our primary mode of transportation for sending three astronauts to the International Space Station. Unlike our previous capsule systems, the Soyuz does not land in the water, but directly on land. The Soyuz lands with the help of parachutes and retro boosters. The main chute slows the Soyuz down to a descent rate of about 16.5 miles per hour, or 26.55 kilometers per hour, which is still too fast for a comfortable landing. One second before touchdown, two sets of three small engines on the bottom of the craft fire, slowing the vehicle down to a soft landing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to take more pictures as you follow me down to our next stop, oh, our space the vehicle boy. training area. Oh, boy's working on something. Mm -hmm. He's checking his face. He's checking his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some special NASA special thing. NASA stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lady giving, giving some NASA coffee. This is so cool. Oh, 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 bed, bed. I see you back there. The missions. This is so cool. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is the Suya. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see it from where the heck down there. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oh, wow, 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 Okay. Look at your people's cubicles. This is their workspace. It's free. So just float in there and then go over there. A broom? They have a broom. Room for scale purposes. I don't know. Plates, helmets. Whoa, is that a heat sink? What is that? Oh, it totally looks like water. But a very large version. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this area you will see a large nose portion of the shuttle, known as a crew compartment trainer or CCT. The CCT is used to help our astronauts train for space shuttle mission. It could rotate both vertical and horizontal positions for launch and landing procedures. Since the shuttle is retired now, this mock up will eventually be moved to a museum. This will make more room for new International Space Station modules 
There's people. There's people. Those are authentic NASA people. Mm -hmm. Workers. She has a job. She gets paid good. <laughs> SDTS? Sounds like a personal problem. Daft Punk was making an appearance. 
I didn't know Daft Punk was making it up here. Mm -hmm. Look there. Those things are so funny. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Look at their feet. Look at their legs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're so interesting. Oh, oh, cool looking man. <laughs>